Right, I've buried this half crown at approx 12 inches. Yep. It's not solid silver. It's a 1948 half crown. There's the other side. It's George the Sixth. And anybody that wants to win this coin after the video, just put comment mine and I'll pick a winner in a few days. Well, in a week. Call it a week from today, yeah? Well, it's not valuable, but it's a nice coin. Nosey Parker. <laughs> right, I've uh, put it in a plastic coin bag and I've pushed it down a bit more. I've put it to exactly 12 inches. In case anybody goes, well, it wasn't 12 inches, it were 11 and a half. Now it's 12 inches. Ta da! There we go. Right now, I'm going to fill the coin in. I mean, <laughs> put the soul back in the hole. Notice down the time bean with the bag. Because it's my mum's garden. <laughs> hey? Uh. Right, I'm also going to bury this George the second half penny and this all here. It's not going to be very deep, but this soil's really bad. It's got lots of iron in, lots of been like it's awful. I've got, I'm at the house, I've got the television cables pipes, electrical cables, everything, we've got the houses all round about, the cars, the interference from the light, uh, the cables everywhere up top, so it's not good conditions to be burying, but it's perfect conditions to show you what I'm trying to show you, so I'll put this in here, right, I'm just going to put it there, Oop, uh, 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 there, and it's not going to, it's not deep, it's, uh, let's have a look, let's have a look, Oh blimey, I need eight hands doing this. Oh yeah. Right, it's only... Just under seven inch deep, six and a half inches. Oh, I mean, oh, I bet he was just two hands. Right, it's in, sorted. Now I'll do the Roman here and what am I putting there? Oh yeah, can't remember. <laughs> right now we've got this Roman call coin, average size Roman coin. I'm gonna put it in this here hole and it's not very deep. Five inches, but as I say, really nastily mineralized. There we go, buried, sorted. I'm now going to bury this one 1860 Victorian Benny. Right, that one is 10 inches Victorian Penny. 10 inches. Now we've got, I'm going to put this nugget, this isn't going to be deep, uh, I call this my whale nugget. It looks like a big whale. Or a Japanese fighting fish, whatever, but it's a fish or a mammal, one of the two. Because whale ain't a fish, is it? Unless it's a whale shark. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about now. Right. So my whale fish nugget. And this is only going to be. No point in measuring that because it goes to the end of my finger. Right. 
my fishy nugget, whale nugget. Now I'm gonna I'm burying this Saxon mount decoration for a Saxon brooch. Very nice. And I'm gonna put that just there. And that again doesn't even come to the end of my finger. It's about three inches. I think something like that. Right, I've buried them on the extremities of their uh, detection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how fine detecting is. The reason I use high sensitivity and the full power of your machine is it doesn't make a massive difference but it makes enough difference to pull out what other people don't pull out this is only for hot spot hunting I keep saying hot spot somewhere where the way it's being battered and there's no more fines coming up bang your sensitivity up go slow scrape the surface about two seconds each way one, two seconds left, two seconds light, right, one elephant, two elephants left, one elephant, two elephants right, and carry on like that gridding, and go for the tiniest little sound of a signal coming through. Uh, so when I say sound of a signal, I mean, imagine a obvious signal. Turn down. Turn down about ooh, 20 times, so it's hardly coming through at all, and all you're getting is a little telltale show. Well, that's what I mean, that's what I'm trying to do for you, and it, it makes a big difference. You imagine getting an extra half inch, an inch with the 11 inch coil, or half inch, sorry, an inch with a big uh, 15 inch coil, inch, inch and a half, two inch. That's a whole new level of fines. Even in nasty iron, it doesn't matter how bad it is. Just get a bit of noise in them headphones and go for the tiniest little signals you can bring out. Makes a massive difference. It's like when a new detector comes out. Even if it's just a quarter of an inch extra on depth, whether it's shallow depth or deep depth, shallow depth next to iron, deep depth, it's a massive difference, a quarter of an inch of fines you've never touched before. Quarter of an inch, it's a lot of fines. Imagine what's laying under that quarter of an inch that you can't touch. Mad, in it? Anyway, let's get it sorted. I'm just doing this uh, demonstration in alter in general. I can get deeper, just a bit deeper if I use all-terrain high conductors and beach surf and sea water and beach deep but this is i'm just going to use all-terrain for this one oh yeah never anybody interested in these motley shovels here unbelievable shovels love them yeah if you want one of them Spinner Disc are selling them now, they're going to be the main day distributor for Motley in England. So get your orders in. Really, I haven't stopped using it since I got one to test. I've given me other shovel away that I loved, I absolutely loved, but this one I love even more. It's called the Greenfield Fox. But the, basically, these things dig before you dig, push it in. As soon as you pull back, it dig, it, 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 oh, it's amazing, I love it. Anyway, let's get on with the test. Right, the half crown, 1948, on 24 sensitivity. Not much.
what's going through. Not much at all. Bang this up to 35. Now we've got enough for me to stop and dig. When you've got signals like this, you won't get much on the screen. There you go. Uh, put it on to 30. Going down a bit, but still getting it. Right, go back up to 30. Starts coming through. Go up to 35. Three inches off four, three inches off the floor there. It's not much, but it matters. I just need to hear that when I'm detecting nice and steady and slow. That's all I need, that little oop there. Right now I'm gonna go up to 35 for the 1860. Penny. Uh, when, when you bury things and it's on the extreme as well, a lot of the tones change. I highly minimalise ground and iron, etc. All changes. Changes a lot of things. You're not going to get much on the screen with this neither. Stop for that all day. Put that down to 24. Now up to 35. There we go. Makes it more solid. And plus you get a bit more detail on the screen as well. Lift it up. Three inches above now. There you go. Now we'll go over to the George II half penny. There's not going to be much on screen with this one either. This is. You're going to get. Yeah, we've got some at the other end. Look. A blobby line, but it's on the middle. Right now, put the sensitivity down to 24. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not much there at all. Now put it up to thirty. Now 
now 35. And I'm going to lift it up off the... That's about another three inches off the ground there. Nice and steady, nice and slow and low, scraping the surface. Right. Go back down to 24. Just getting a mess now. It comes through occasionally, but hardly. It's just a. Can't get it. But as soon as you get to 30. even lift off 30 look and then 35 nice and full of signal and four inches off the ground there look. right Roman coin We're getting detail in the middle Now if we take it down to 24 Just get a lot of mess, it's not 35 Detecting, detecting that's all I need. That. Look, we're getting something here now. Hot spot detecting. Right now we'll go to the Saxon Mount, Gold Saxon Mount. Yeah, there you go. Low tour. Now, this get Saxon Mount. Let me settle on it, if I can. You should get, well, it's not, it's not, it's not responding enough, but usually it's a four. Four to six, depending. Right on 24 sensitivity. But if I put that up to 20, 35 now, that's a lot better. Lift it up off the ground. It's about an inch and a half off the ground now. That's a lot better. All right, thanks. Yep, that's sound. Right, and now we'll go over to. This is the whale nugget, the fishy nugget that I found about three, four months ago. Found this on a Roman site and I was doing what I'm doing now. Right, I'm going to hover that up. That's three inches off the ground. Look 35. So we'll look 35. Oh, sorry, 20. 24, silly me. Struggling to get through now. It's... So it makes makes a big difference using the full power of your machine. 
so so it's bitty you can't hardly hear nothing at all so we're up to 30 if I can find it don't put phone too close because it starts going mad so detecting along do, do, do. only is that telltale sign there so basically when you're shooting in hot spots detecting in hot spots all the targets have gone has been a club on it or you've hammered it to pieces and you're looking for the last bits that are there till it's ploughed or whatever till it's ploughed or if you hit it from another direction, from another direction, then another direction, you're gonna if if you're detecting with your full full sensitivity or as near as damn it as you can handle, you'll find a lot more. Uh, your your little patch will liven up a bit. Well, sometimes a lot. You think you've you think you've you your hot spot's finished, but it's not, it's never finished. Get in there, get your sensitivity up, go slow, low, scrape the surface, and you'll be surprised what comes up. It's amazing. And the machine is quieter when you're on a field. I'm next to all this, all around all this mess here, so I've got lots of EMI. Plus, there's a phone, and I didn't put it on airplane mode like a twonk, I forgot again. So, once you're in the field, you're on full sensitivity. It's even more obvious, a lot more obvious. So, anyway, I hope that helps. It's not for general detecting, it's only, like I keep saying, for hot spots. Spots that you've battered, or clubs have battered, that you can't get any more out of. If you go on a dig, and, you, and you've somebody's you've found a Roman patch, and everybody's hammering it, and then there's no else coming up, you'll get over there, start hammering it yourself, with a good technique, full sensitivity and you're going to pull everything that they've missed simple as that okay then hope that helps you anyway give it a go see what you think you'll see your ground comes alive more all right then dotty bye